five things that they won't tell you that you need to know before making a mortgage inquiry. My name's Gindy. I'm one of the senior advisors at Create Finance. I'm going to talk you through all the information that a mortgage broker will need to know when you make your initial mortgage inquiry. So let's get into the video. Number one, get a copy of your credit report. A mortgage broker will ask you about your previous credit history. If you've had some previous credit blips and you're unsure, have a copy of your credit report available to send to a broker. This will ensure that the broker finds a correct product for you. If you're unsure where to get a credit report from, check my file can compare four different credit referencing agencies on one document. Number two, know your income. If you're an employed individual, it's important that you understand what your basic salary is and then what any additional incomes on top of that equate to. For example, if you receive regular bonus or overtime, you can't add this onto your basic and quantify that as your full annual salary. The reason for this is that lenders will only take a certain portion of overtime or bonus. My recommendation to yourself will be, have your latest three pay slips available to send to a broker. Your broker will then be able to distinguish what your basic salary is, what your overtime is, and what your bonus equates to. If you're self-employed, my advice will be, get a copy of your latest two tax calculations and overviews, or if you're a limited company director, your last two end of year accounts. Number three, be honest where your deposit has come from. Certain lenders will not take a gift if it's come from a non-family member. What I mean by a non-family member, it could be a distant aunt or distant uncle. It's important that you're honest and truthful with your broker and tell them where the deposit is coming from. This will allow them to find the right product and lender for you. Number four, know your regular monthly outgoings. Children are expensive. In your mortgage interview with your broker, your broker will want to know what your childcare costs are. These childcare costs can include any school or nursery fees or any after school clubs. These childcare costs are then input into the affordability calculation. Your broker can then tell you what your maximum affordable amount is, which will then allow you to go shopping for a property. It's also important to disclose what your credit commitments are on a regular monthly basis. If you are planning on clearing the credit commitments before the mortgage starts, let your broker know. It's also important to tell your broker if you are about to take out a new regular monthly commitment, this will affect how much you can borrow for a new mortgage. Number five, tell your broker the value of the property you are aiming to purchase. The final piece of the jigsaw is the property itself. The difference between the purchase price and the loan itself is called the loan to value. If your broker knows the purchase price of the new property you are looking at and the deposit you have available, this can then help decide the best product and interest rate for you. So there you go. Five things that you need to know before making a mortgage inquiry with a broker. For more information around getting the mortgage, please check out this video.